the potential difference across the sister small letter r carrying current i v equal to i into r now the potential difference across the same r is measured using a voltmeter of resistance r v so that reading of the voltmeter is less than the true value true value is i into r the new value of the potential difference when a voltmeter is connected is to be uh, less than the value of i the actual potential difference i into r when voltmeter is connected what potential difference is recorded that should be less than i into r then uh, percentage error in the measured value then what value the voltmeter measured the two two potential difference means v2 and v1 are supposed to be the same so first case we have current passing through the resistor r potential difference is i into r now we are connecting a voltmeter parallel to it so this combination can be replaced with a single resistor rp so rp is equal to parallel combination resistance of r and voltmeter so rp will be r into rv by r plus r so this potential difference can be measured as i into r parallel r parallel will be r product with r of voltmeter divided by r plus r of the voltmeter so we have v2 and v1 now we have to show v2 is less than v1 so divide v2 upon v1 v2 by v1 here i into r this i and r get cancelled from that so rv by r plus r since rv and r plus rv if you compare rv is less compared to r plus rv because this is something added with rv it's only rv so if you add something with rv that is always greater than rv that means v1 is greater than v2 or v2 is less than v1 that's the first question uh, we need to show v2 is less than v1 or v2 by v1 is less than v2. now percentage error part we have a common formula for percentage error v2 by v1 minus 1 into 100 so v2 by v1 already we have here rv by r plus rv so substituting rv by r plus r voltmeter taking lcm this so one can be replaced by r plus rv by r plus rv is minus so lcm rv minus r minus rv by r plus rv into 100 percent with rv rv will go Minus R by R plus R will hundred percent. This negative sign itself show the value is less. That's the percentage error in the voltmeter reading. Now the voltmeter to show V two and V one same. Uh, v two by V one is already R V by R plus R V. If you divide both by R V, R V by R V will be one. Here R by R V plus one. So V two equal to V one into. So this is just V one transfer only. Next step will do division with R V. So R V upon R V is one. R by R V plus R V by R V will be one. Now in this, if you want V two and V one to be same, uh, this part should be zero. So then one by one will be V two equal to V one. That means if the resistance of the voltmeter is infinity, one by infinity will be zero. So zero into R will be zero plus one. So if the voltmeter is of infinite resistance, ideal case, V two and V one will be same. 